Hey guys, what's going on? Rhett here at my client Klaus's third Section 8 rental property. Klaus has added three properties in just a matter of months. He's doing amazing. This was a two bedroom home that we turned into a three bedroom. Uh, I actually put a link below. I saw this house a couple of months ago. Another client of mine had it under contract, but it didn't fit what she was looking for. So Klaus was looking for properties that would be really, really good burr options, right? As we talk about on the channel a lot, buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat, which is an a, a unbelievably uh, important tool to have in your toolbox if you're going to be a, a investor. So guys, I want you to come on in and see the transformation. Please, if you haven't seen the original, hit the link in the description below, watch the original, and then see what it looks like now. This is gonna be a home run. While my construction team was here, uh, we had about six people show up with vouchers in hand trying to rent this unit. So come on in and I'll show you why. So guys, so far we've done almost everything that needs to be done here. The last piece of this will be coming in here, cleaning the floors. We went back and forth a few times on whether or not we wanted to fully refinish these hardwoods. They didn't need to be done. So the lacquer that's on them right now is still strong. Once we clean them up, they're gonna be absolutely spotless. But I wanna walk you through here. So before the, the section inspection, we'll have our, our, our trim crew come through here and, and we have a different crew that comes through. Uh, and take care of all the all the small things. So all the Section 8 items that haven't been done yet, um, all the uh, touch-up work and that sort of thing. But overall, everything is done here. This house is ready for photos. It's ready to be shown. But with the with the uh, applicants that uh, that we already brought in while we were doing the rehab, we already have a tenant lined up for this thing. So uh, guys, walking through here in the kitchen, we put a whole new floor in here. This kitchen was a complete disaster. So we redid this puppy, uh, took the dishwasher out of here as well. This place is looking great. All the appliances work, which is pretty amazing. Uh, really, really happy with how this turned out. Now, of course, we painted the entire place, painted the ceilings, all new light fixtures. We did a ton of drywall work in here as well. Uh, there was electrical work that needed to be done. We ended up having to do some plumbing work. We did all new floorings in all these rooms. But the biggest issue with this house was some of the structural work that had to be done in some of these bedrooms. Now, we'll walk through here um, and, and you guys can see, but we have our bathroom in here and uh, what we did in here, this bathroom was in really tough shape, if you can recall. So uh, new sink, new vanity, new toilet, obviously, everything new in here to make this a lot nicer than it was. Uh, GFI outlets, which you have to have with the electrical code, okay, uh, and, and new doors. So. Um, we walk into this bedroom. Now, guys, if you had just watched the video that I told you to watch, you would have seen what this bedroom looked like. You would have seen what the flooring looked like in here. Uh, new vents where, where we needed to put them um, here as well. Everything in here, brand new, looking good. And um, of course, all the windows made to work. So when you're doing projects like this, you have to see when you walk into these homes, you need to have a little bit of... Uh, creativity. And what I mean by that is you have to have a vision for what you want the home to look like. Sometimes people walk in a lot of these distressed homes and you might watch that video that we did before and you might say, holy cow, no way, I would never buy that. But when you walk through this house and you see what the end result is, which is this, you'd say to yourself, holy cow, this is perfect. This is amazing. Now guys, Klaus bought this for $49,000. The rehab here was 42,000. We did it in a little under 10 days. We had about eight guys here um, for that period of time. Tw almost, I mean, I wanna say 24 seven, obviously not, but here for, for about 17 hours a day, just knocking this thing out, just crushing it. So really, really happy for Klaus guys. This thing came, came out amazing. Obviously bedroom number one right here. We have a bathroom at the end of the hallway. Uh, put a new toilet in here as well, had this entire thing cleaned, um, and, and this is also looking great. And then, of course, we have bedroom number two right in here. This room was also in really tough shape. Again, all new grates and, and everything for the floor and, and for the AC. Um, 
we have a big bedroom number two. And then back here, we also put bedroom number three. So bedroom number three is in here. We have bedroom number two right here, bedroom number one next door. So essentially guys, what we had here was a two bedroom, two bath. Now with section eight, we're usually getting somewhere between 800 and 975 a month for a two bedroom. Now the square footage in this is pretty big. So naturally it will support a, a, a three bedroom layout, which is what we have here. So now we have a three bedroom, two bath. So all of a sudden the average rent we get goes from 800 to 975 to 1100 all the way up to about 1250. So you talk about the ability to add a bedroom, clean a place up, have a place with a decent sized square footage that can accommodate three bedrooms like this one does. And all of a sudden we're able to increase the rent somewhere between 15 and 20% just from the addition of that extra, uh, that extra bedroom. So, when you walk into these places, you have to say, and regardless of what it looks like, and you guys probably watched that other video, and if you've been on the channel for a long time, you probably said, oh, this is nothing, or I can already see that. But part of being a real estate investor is understanding, okay, this is what this unit looks like now, but with some work and with the right people helping, this is what we can get it to. And that is so, so important, guys, okay? If you don't have a team to help you do that, you don't have someone walking you through it, Use mine and, and, and do this thing with me. Send me an email, guys, in the description below. We'll get you started. I'm telling you, you can do this. You can be just like Klaus and have three properties in three months. It will get them up and running. We'll do everything for you. You don't have to worry about a thing. And you learn how to do it yourself. So you can build your 10 units, your 20 units. Klaus is a guy that this is number three for him. But five years from now, he'll have 50. He'll have 75, if not more. So guys, please send me an email uh, in the description below and we'll get you started. See you next time.